So as a lot of you know, I started off teaching people how to use SketchUp on my SketchUp channel. That channel is a really big channel. I have over a thousand videos talking about how to use SketchUp. So why am I making a video now talking about why Blender is better than SketchUp? Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so really anytime there's a discussion online about 3D modeling software and the comparisons between them, um, there's always a ton of strong opinions on either side of why you should use this program or why you should use this program. So really I consider all 3D modeling softwares to be tools for different functions, right? So different tools are good for different things. So Blender, for example, is a fantastic all around tool set that contains tools for things like modeling, texturing, animation, sculpting, Thing. It just has a ridiculous amount of functions contained inside of it. So it is a great choice for a lot of kinds of 3D modeling software. However, I will say that there are times when it makes sense to use something like a SketchUp over Blender. That's why I'm going to be rolling out a video today as well on that channel talking about times when you might or reasons that you might use SketchUp over Blender. I will link to that on this page. I would encourage you to watch both videos because I think that there's really some things to consider when picking a 3D modeling software. Um, there are times like architectural and CAD style modeling where I think SketchUp is probably a better fit than something like Blender but I will link to that on this page. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, Blender contains a lot more tools and functions than SketchUp. So SketchUp is really designed for simplicity and to be easy to learn. That's really the target that SketchUp is going after is the people that are learning to use 3D modeling and need for it to be a little bit more accessible. That's what SketchUp is going for with its tool set. Blender has a ton more tools for different things. So it's got a very deep modeling tool set, not only for simple shapes, but also for things like subdivision style modeling, other things like that. But then it doesn't stop there. It has so many more functions. So it has the ability to simulate cloth. You can simulate fluids. It has a sculpting engine inside of it that design, that's designed to be able to do sculpting. You've got UV mapping tools and complex shader options. So there's just so many different things you can do with Blender. So Blender is really getting to the point where it's rivaling some of the best VFX software on the market. So 3ds Max, Maya, all those different tools. Um, a lot of people are switching over to Blender in that sphere. So if you're trying to do that kind of modeling, right, that complex modeling, um, if you need any of those tools and functions, SketchUp's just not going to have a lot of those. It's very specific in its use case. So while Blender is more targeted towards that CG VFX marketplace, SketchUp is very, we could say, narrowly focused on that architectural modeling and um, woodworking and other things like that. So Blender has a much more robust materials tool set. So Blender has built-in UV mapping tools that allow you to unwrap objects, place textures, do other things like that, as well as the shader setup where you can create complex materials not only for just modeling but also for rendering. So you can use nodes in order to create different effects and complex materials, other things like that. There's nothing really like that in SketchUp. Now I will say, and I make this case in the other video, for a lot of uses the simplicity of SketchUp's materials can be a better fit for a lot of people just because there's a lot of knowledge required to use the material tools inside of Blender. But once you learn how to use them, you're going to be able to do some amazing things in Blender that you just can't do inside of SketchUp. All right, so Blender also has multiple integrated rendering engines. So SketchUp doesn't have a built-in rendering engine at all. It allows you to simulate some sunlight, but it doesn't do anything with the actual rendering and simulation of light. So Blender, on the other hand, has both Eevee and Cycles. So not only does Blender have a real-time rendering function in Eevee that allows you to see your changes as you make them, it also has Cycles, a physically based renderer which allows you to create really accurate looking results. So not only can you see your models in a 3D space, you can also render them to get really realistic images. Now I will say that SketchUp does have third-party rendering tools, so like Enscapes and Lumions, um, V-Rays, other things like that that allow you to create renderings. None of them are built in and integrated in the way that Eevee and Cycles are. All right, so next, Blender is constantly rolling out more new features than SketchUp. And so every time there's a new release, there's just a bunch more functions that are added inside of Blender than are added inside of SketchUp. So SketchUp's main tool set has stayed fairly um, static 
in the sense that they're not really adding a whole lot of new modeling tools or anything like that. Where, while every time Blender rolls out a new version, there's just a ton of things that are changed. All right, so Blender also has more advanced modeling features than SketchUp. And what I mean is SketchUp's tool set is really designed to be simple, right? It's really based on creating a base shape and then extruding it to 3D. And then from there, a lot of the time you're just kind of grouping it, cutting holes in it, and then calling it good. Where for a lot of the use cases in Blender, what you're doing is you're doing more of a subdivision style modeling. So what you're doing is you're modeling a shape and then you're subdividing it and you're moving the parts and pieces around to create a more complex object. Well, the tool set for this is just a little bit more developed inside of Blender. So, and part of that is Blender is more designed as like a vertex modeling type workflow where SketchUp's is a little bit more like face modeling. Um, you're just kind of working with faces, but within Blender, the tool set is more designed for that quad modeling, for adding edge loops and adding detail, and then UV unwrapping. So the advanced modeling tools, they're really built around a different use case than the ones inside of SketchUp. Um, but either way, if you're creating anything that's like organic or more complex, you're gonna have a built-in tool set in Blender that's gonna allow you to do that. Where in SketchUp, you're gonna have to move to more of like a, uh, you're gonna need like a vertex tools, you're gonna need a sub D or subdivision surface extension. Those are going to be things that you're going to have to go find and buy on a t on top of the tool set that's already in there if you want to get into that style modeling where they're built in to Blender. All right, so next, modifiers and non-destructive modeling techniques are way better in Blender. So as an example, inside of SketchUp, you have a Boolean tools extension that allows you to do Boolean operations, right? Like the, subtra the subtract or the difference or those different things, but they actually make the changes to your model in a destructive fashion. What that means is that means that if you make a change and then you need to change something later, you can't do that because it's already changed the geometry inside of SketchUp. With Blender's modifier tool set, this gives you a lot of control and a lot of ability to make changes that you can then go and adjust later, which makes this very powerful. So for example, if I do a Boolean inside of Blender um, and I decide I don't like where it's at, I just move my Boolean object and the opening kind of moves along with it. So this allows you to do non-destructive modeling, which really gives you the ability to not get stuck if you make a mistake, you can just go back and change it. So next, Blender has geometry nodes. Geometry nodes is basically a tool designed to allow you to create and edit geometry using nodes inside of Blender. What that means is that means that you have this crazy mathematical functionality inside of Blender to start creating amazing different things. So these can be used to create a lot of different things. So I've seen people set up geometry nodes to create full buildings and add windows and doors and other things like that. Um, and there's something that's being, and there's something that are developing really rapidly. There are some amazing applications for geometry nodes that I've seen. Now, one thing I will say is I have not seen anything architectural that's really a game changer as of yet. I think somebody will roll something like that out. So I think that's gonna make the comparison between geometry nodes and dynamic components inside SketchUp really interesting moving forward. But at the moment, I'm seeing pe people are still kind of feeling geometry nodes out because they're a newer feature. But they just bring this amazing ability to create kind of like dynamic objects inside a Blender that do amazing things. So there's really nothing that does that inside of SketchUp in the same way. So Blender also has a substantially better tool set for creating animations inside of your 3D models or from your 3D models. So SketchUp gives you the ability to animate a few different things, right? It gives you the ability to animate camera movements. It gives you the ability to animate section planes, which move, allowing you to create somewhat moving geometry in a sense. So you can use it to create like phasing animations, things like that. There's also some extensions that allow you to add movement to your object, but nothing like what's contained inside of Blender. So Blender's tool set for creating animations is far superior in the sense that everything is keyframable. So you can animate the transitions for all of the different things inside of your model. You can add moving animations, but then you can also add moving animations with rigging behind it. So then you can also add noise to your animations. There's just way more options inside of Blender. There's even the ability to like photo match to real world things so that you can kind of composite in animations over real world footage. So depending on your use case, you may not need all of these 
these things. Like for most applications inside of SketchUp, you don't really need to be able to do rigging because it's not a character animation tool. But the tool set in Blender for creating animations is much larger and it's gonna give you more options as to the kind of things that you can animate. All right, so better performance. So Blender just handles large amounts of high resolution textures or polygons inside your models better than SketchUp. So SketchUp kind of hits a point where it just can't handle all the additional geometry anymore and it starts to slow down. Now Blender has this too, you can handle a lot more than SketchUp can. So um, from a performance standpoint, Blender is just faster. It's really built to um, display those high resolution models, the high poly models, other things like that. So you can run into a lot more problems inside of SketchUp trying to work with larger models just because the tool set isn't really designed to handle huge models. So and then finally, and most important to a lot of people, Blender is free. So you can go download Blender right now, zero cost, and start modeling. Some of the add-ons are paid, but that's the same with SketchUp. But the full 100% version of Blender can be downloaded and worked with for free. SketchUp, on the other hand, does have a free online version, but it's not nearly as powerful as the desktop version because it doesn't have some things like extensions. It's kind of locked down in some of the material standpoints. So to really get what you want out of SketchUp, if you're doing any kind of commercial work or anything like that, you're going to have to get the pro desk version, which is going to have a recurring yearly fee. So you can download Blender for free. There is a cost associated with SketchUp. And so for a lot of people, that makes Blender very attractive. So honestly, to me, comparing Blender to SketchUp is like comparing two completely different tools in a toolbox, like a hammer and a screwdriver. Honestly, I think you should know how to use a little bit of both depending on your usage type. But in a lot of the CG and complex modeling areas, Blender is going to be the superior tool. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Please keep it civil. I know people have a tendency to get fired up about this, which I understand because I'm passionate about 3D software as well. But I'm not looking for this to be like a name calling thing or anything like that. But leave that comment below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.